Nonprofits are fun. I, I fucking dislike them by and large. You gonna check the basement? That's where I'm going right now. This is like the only place I haven't checked. And probably, you know, and it probably was a good idea to check it, to check it last. Boiler room storage. Okay, so there isn't even much down here. Does Resident Evil let you do this? Like, when you've, you've got the camera and it's set in a position like this, but with this game you can press L and change the direction. You know, like, I want to look what's over here. I can do that. You can't do that in Resident Evil, right? Because I thought that was like a, a staple of tank control games, is that they had those fixed cameras. And you couldn't do shit, you know, like you, you, and that was part of the horror of it. Oh, okay. Not the basement. Oh, here we go. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't know, I'm surprised. I press the switch, but nothing appears to happen. Okay, I need to like repair the boiler first or something. The valve is tightly shut. Don't know what it's for. Better leave it alone. Is that the case with all of these? Is any of these not tightly shut? Do any of these I know what it does? Obviously there's going to be some sort of pipe puzzle here. Apparently one I don't know the information for yet, so the game's not even going to let me try and guess at it. Which is probably for the best. Because I would have tried to guess something with like, oh, 9109, or whatever the fuck those numbers were before. Oh, it is 1901. <laughs> You know, I would have tried to, like, okay, spin the left one nine times. Spin, <laughs> you know, something like that. And I would have wasted a lot of time. <clears throat> Protestant churches are a bunch of pussy pussies. The Catholic church is anti-contraception as well. Oh, so you're not you're not being sarcastic. Okay, thank you. I mean, yeah. I agree with you on that one. The CEO of Goodwill gets 40% of the profits. That's fucking crazy when you consider- Do you mean 40% of all profits? If he got fucking 2% of profits from Goodwill, he'd be probably making six figures. Like, that's insane. Non-profit just means you can get away with hiring a bunch of volunteers. No, exactly. It's extremely profitable. I'm not sure where to- where to go from here. At one point, you'll be surrounded by them. Whatever you do, avoid that situation entirely. If you find yourself in a problem, might as well reload your save. Okay. Um, I think I've been in every room, right? Oh, I can look upstairs, okay. Uh, yeah, I've been in all of those. Couldn't go to the roof. Uh, been in those classrooms, been in the library. Did I pick something up recently that might be useful? No, I haven't picked up anything recently except a chemical. Concentrated hydro hydrochloric acid. Okay, so clearly this is used for something. Um, what would I need? What would I need hydrochloric acid for? What do I need to like burn off? The hand? Probably the hand, right? That makes sense. Yeah, I bet that's it. I was thinking we would just cut the hand off or something, but we could melt it away. That... That works. Yeah, that, that makes sense. I think that's what it is. Oh, fuck. Stop. Sometimes shooting him three times in a row works perfectly, and sometimes it, it really does not. I don't like the noises, making me think there's a baby up here. There's no baby. It's just fucking freaking me out for no reason. Press select again. Okay, this way. I'm afraid because of the camera angle, I'm gonna like run into one of these babies and not even notice. Okay, yeah, hydrochloric acid, right? Do I need to use it? <sighs> Keep pressing the wrong buttons. Use. I knew it! Am I a genius or what? Hmm. 
This man is a pathological liar. Don't you dare listen to him. I mean, I don't know. Gold medallion. I know exactly what to do with that. I know exactly what to do with that. Okay, we're making good progress. This all makes sense. Unlike finding the keys at the beginning, which I'll be honest, was a seemed a little bit bullshit to me. I, I don't know. I mean, I guess it, I, I, we found him without too much trouble. We just had to explore the town. But this makes a lot more sense. I like this closed environment. One, thing's lead one thing leads to another. You gotta solve some puzzles, but they're puzzles that you're able to solve. You know? I like this. This is good. Does anybody remember where the fucking save thing was? Do they mark those on the map? You think they would. But I don't think they did. Also, I notice now that the piano is marked on my map. I have to remember that. Okay. In Ireland, they are now a diverting tax dollars to fund free abortions on demand. Yeah, that sounds like a great new way to use your money. Uh, okay. I press fucking... Use that. Okay. Open up the door, maybe? Or just set it to, like, 5 o'clock? The tower door is locked. The hands are stopped at 12. Okay. Alright, see? I'm understanding these puzzles. I understand what's going on here. Now, we need to read the little guide for 12 o'clock. What's the 12 o'clock guide? What do I do at 12? It's written in blood. A place with songs and sound. The fucking... Obviously, it's the piano. A silver guidepost is untapped in lost tongues, awakened at the ordained order. Ordained order. The ordained order... Like a code? Makes me think maybe 9109, but you can't exactly play numbers in a piano, so I don't think that's it. Um, hmm. Something like that. I'm not sure. Wasn't it just in the lobby here that there was the save thing? Was that where it was? It's worth checking. Unless some shit's gonna attack me here. Can we abort the politicians? <laughs> you could play numbers on a piano. What do you what do you mean? Like play the ninth note and then the first note and then the zero note? How do you play the zero note? I guess that's the main thing. You could you could uh translate numbers into piano keys, I suppose. But zero would be a little hard. Okay, this is it, right? Right. For some reason, select just seems like a much more sound button for me for the map, and, and triangle seems like it makes more sense for the inventory. I keep fucking getting this wrong. Some blood on some of the keys. Does this mean anything? Check the piano. No. Whoa, what? <laughs> what is it doing when it makes that noise? Oh! So, so some of these notes are pressed and some of them aren't. Okay, so... What? What? Whoa, can I play fucking Evangeli on this? Ah, I, I can almost play fucking Evangelion! <laughs> 
Ah, no. You know what I'm doing? You know, you know what I mean? Here, look. Just to, just to... Oh, my piano isn't plugged in. I was gonna, I was gonna show you, but, uh, never mind, I guess. Shit. Is there a MIDI controller for this game? I wish, because I have a MIDI controller right here. It would work, you know? I could do that. Uh... It's one through seven, find a code for one through seven. Well, I have a code that involves nine. If you count the black keys, it's one through 12. That's very true. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine, one, what the fuck is zero? So wait, maybe like zero, one, no. It seems like I just have to hit all the notes that are in the scale. Like, I'm just trying to figure out what the scale is. You know what I mean? Like, it's this key. Oh, it's so it's not C. It's not C sharp. What? I thought that was part of it. Oh, that's it. Oh, it's, uh, what is this, E? No, it's not E. He's not even in it. <clears throat> the code was actually nine ten nine. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That actually makes sense. But not ten doesn't fucking work. Because yeah, ten, eleven, twelve. Hmm. And cut doesn't work either, because, I mean, you can play a C, but you can't play a U and a T. Hmm. That would have been fucking really clever, but... 9109 would be... <sighs> maybe it's maybe it's 0 to 11. Maybe it's like code and shit, where you... Are one, you know, zero is the first one, so it's actually, um, this is 11, 10, this is 9, but then that wouldn't even work. You missed one. Okay, wait. This is so much, here, wait. This will be easier on a real piano. I can remember it easier. I know that sounds fucking weird. Okay, C, right? Okay. Okay. Yep. All right. Okay, okay, so it's C. <sighs> okay, okay, all right, I got this. C, D sharp, uh, E, F, F sharp. G sharp and B. Are you fucking kidding me? <clears throat> Why are you going left to right? Should I go right to left? I mean, the blood does seem to go down from there. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, well, that didn't work either. Right? It wasn't that all of them? Because it's not that, not that. Yeah. Which one? Shit, this one. Am I missing a note here? No, I'm not. I don't understand. That's a full scale. That's a full fucking scale, you know? That's just... Yeah. Yeah, it is a fuck... it's a full scale. That would make sense that that might be the answer, but no. 
The, some blood stains are darker. I was wondering about that. Okay. But you can't see, I didn't think that was the case because you can't see the blood stains on the black notes, but maybe we should ignore those. See, clearly he pressed the note there, but that's not the answer. You know what I mean? So like, what does that mean? Maybe, no, maybe like, here, wait. Maybe like this? I don't fucking know, man. Just make a funky groove. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to play Evangelion. Here, wait. No, wait, how does it go? Fuck, how does that go? Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, okay. I could play that. You think that's the answer? Wait. Da, 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 da. Shit, no, that's not the answer. Just because it doesn't make sound doesn't mean it's not part of the puzzle. Maybe only use blocked keys. That's an interesting idea. Okay, so all the blocked keys would be this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. But that's all of them. Maybe there's a hint around here. I think it's the blood, though. I think the hint is obviously the blood. Oh. It's written in blood. The tale of birds without a voice. First flew the greedy pelican, eager for the reward, white wings flailing. Then came a silent dove, flying beyond the pelican as far as he could. A raven flies in, flying higher than the dove, just to show that he can. A swan glides in to find a peaceful spot next to another bird. Finally comes a crow, coming quickly to a stop, yawning and then napping. Who will show the way? Who will be the key? Who will lead to the silver reward? I understand it. Okay. So... First of all, is a pelican. Pelicans are white, so you play a white key. Then came a dove, also white. Raven, black key. Swan, white key. Crow, black key. There it is. It's a five sequence code on a piano. White, what, is it, what was it? White, white, black, white, black. Okay, so we'll go, we'll try right to left. So white, uh, the next white key would be this one. White, white, black, white. Does it even matter? Maybe the other way. I think the other way makes more sense. White, but I can't play that one. Uh, white, white, black. White. See, they don't go. They don't actually go in that order, though. The ones that I can actually play. Maybe I play the ones I don't play. Wait a minute. So this one doesn't play. So white. That one plays though. White. Maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe I'll. Maybe I should just play the ones with the blood on them. So like white, white, uh, black. Oh, I fucked that up. Yeah. Okay. White. It looks like that he played this one too, you see that? Or else that blood wouldn't be there. So it's probably white, white. I don't know, black, white. I don't know, man. This is fucking... <laughs> mm. Okay. So, there's probably something else in that. There's, there's probably more to it than just white, you know what I mean? Like, probably something in this code gives you... Oh! A tale of birds without a voice! Duh. Duh. So you only play, play the keys that don't make noise. There it is. Okay. So. That one makes noise. This one doesn't. 
Neither does this one. Okay, so you want probably starting from the left. Okay, so, so that one doesn't make a noise. So white. Maybe it doesn't matter the order. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to play this like a scale almost. Like I need to go from the left to the right or the right to the left. Probably that doesn't matter as much as just playing keys that are white and black when they need to be and don't make noise. So we'll go white. Uh, white. Black. White. Black. There it is! Perfect. Perfect. Okay. All right. Whew. I was getting too... I, I guess I was getting too, like, thinking it needed to be, like, real piano shit. You know? Like, I was... <laughs> like, I got... I fucking turned on my piano because I was like, this might fucking help. Uh, it, do, it didn't. No, it didn't. Okay, I got it. I'm the fucking puzzle master. Alright, I got that. No, didn't even need the hint. Didn't even get a hint. Trust me, the key you're looking for to unlock this puzzle is one that turns as if no effort at all. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess it's pretty easy once you get it. Joke's on you, no one played the piano, some dyke just squeezed her tampon on the keys. That's the thing, yeah, the, the blood stains are a complete fucking red herring. The, like, like the, the blood stains don't tell you anything. But, okay, alright, you know, I figured it out, I'm not upset about it, I'm happy. He did it. What do you mean, he did it? I figured it out. You didn't even tell me to go check that sign or anything, I, I figured it out. Took me a little bit, I went down some rabbit holes to get there, but I got it. It wasn't like finding, you know, like, it wasn't like finding the keys and he like told me or something. I'll take credit for that one. Alright. I like these puzzles, by the way. These are like... These are quality puzzles, honestly. Let's put that in. And now it's something about the beast, right? Still locked. But now it's at five. Is the beast gonna fucking attack me now? Is there- Cause this music's getting pretty... Fucking intense. Come on! Okay. Fear mode is coming. This is where shit gets real and you may not survive even with a pistol. Okay. Um. Okay. I don't know if I want to know that ahead of time. You know what I mean? Be prepared to run. <laughs> you know what I... It, it, this is just a request. It's kind of like a fucking, uh, like... What do you call it? Picky request. But, um, you know what advice I would prefer to that? Just to, like, nitpick your advice? <laughs> is, uh, I'd prefer to know where the fucking nearest save point is. Rather than, you know what I mean? Like, just to be even vague, you know? Like, it might be better to say, hey, Michael, you should save right now. And also, maybe, where the save point is, because I don't fucking remember. Written in blood. 10 o'clock? No, it's it's 12 now, right? Or no, it's 5. It's 5. 5. Darkness that brings the choking heat. The boiler. Boiling room. Yeah. Yep. Boiler room. Flames render the silence, awakening the hungry beast. Opens times, open time's door to beckon prey. Open time's door definitely sounds like opening the clock tower or something, but we couldn't get in the clock tower. So I'm assuming with the flame shit it's talking about, that it's talking about the boiler room. Hint, hint, save often. Right, but, uh, where? I can't save here, right? I can't just save anywhere. That'd be nice, but no. Um, where? Where's the save? Have you played Riven? I have not, no. I've played Mist, like I said. It's very good, I like Mist. I wanna play Riven, people say it's really good. I've heard it described as like only having like one puzzle, but it's like one of the best puzzles. Like the whole game is like one puzzle. It's one of the best puzzles in, in video games. 
Do they really not mark the save spots on the map? You would think that'd be like a really fucking useful thing to know. Is it in the infirmary? I thought it was- I thought we saw one somewhere near the beginning here. Maybe it's right here. No, that's just where we got the chemical, isn't it? Oh no, it is right here! Okay, perfect. Yeah, we'll save in slot two, why not? Why? <laughs> I press B to get out of that menu, and B also deactivates my flashlight. And by B, I mean circle. Obvious, obviously. Okay, let's go downstairs. I have to assume that we're going to the boiler room is the thing to do. Okay, I saved. I have full health. The boiler room button is glowing. I don't know if it was before. There we go. Mildly spooky noise. Okay. Does that do anything for us? I guess now we go to the clock tower, right? We've awakened the beast or whatever. Now it's time to stab it with our steely knives. Yeah, I fucking guess so. It would make sense. You turn the boiler on and then it opens the doors or something. I mean, that no, that doesn't make sense, but I should save again, shouldn't I? It's right there. We should just save again. Yeah, why not? I'd be hype as fuck for a Riven playthrough. <laughs> it'll be more- it'll be more like piano puzzles and shit. I'll be- I'll be like- Going the complete wrong direction with all the puzzles. I've still got 919 or 9109 cut uh, written down, and I don't think that's gonna do anything. This fucking noise. Oh, yep, I was right. The, oh, the clock tower goes down. Oh. 911 cuck. Yeah, that's right. Close enough, you know. Uh, oh, all right, okay, let's let's go. This game's pretty fucking good, by the way. That puzzle, I know it's like it was a fucking piano puzzle, you know what I mean? But that puzzle's actually kind of convinced me. It's won me over in a big way. I'll buy ribbon for you sometime then. I wouldn't mind it, I guess. If you if you're okay with watching some shitty puzzles, if you're gonna do that though. I'd probably wait until October is over, just because I might not play it Where until October is over, you know? Have I been here before? Oh, is so it just the fucking courtyard again? Uh, is Pyramid Head in this game? I don't remember this being here before. <laughs> I love how fucking nonchalant he is about everything. Every time he speaks, he's just like, What is this? I don't remember this. Where am I? What is that? And it's like, dude, you're, there's fucking like demons and shit around. You, do, you don't want to be like a little more concerned about your well-being? No, but he's just like, Whoa, what's going on? What is this? I don't remember this. Have I been here before? What am I doing again? It's locked. Okay, cool. Is that a satanic circle? Like a magic Japanese shogi shit on the ground there? Like, what? Oh, oh. Are these like little demon children? Trying to attack me with knives and suck my dick? What's with that? That's weird. I don't remember that happening before. I like how we've entered the, uh, the alternate version of this school. It's gone from being a school into an industrial waste, like a, like an industrial site. Uh, wrong, wrong one. 
Harry's a man of iron. Gets his legs torn off by monster. Didn't I used to have those? <laughs> you've got it. Yeah, you, you've got it. That's Harry. He, he's just fucking... Like, he's just... I'd like to call him, like, a, a badass or something. Or, like, some... You know, like, he's... He's fucking real hardcore or doesn't notice any of it. Yeah, pick up the rubber ball. Are those children? Are those, like, child dolls? Chucky shit on the ground. Okay. You know, I'd like to say that, that he's, like, he's got an iron will. But really, I think he's just, like, inept, and he just hardly fucking notices anything that's going on. You know, he's just, he's just honestly confused. Like, what's that? What's going on? What's going- what's this? A dead body? Have I seen that dead body before? Oh, it's- Oh, it's a- what is that? What is that? Is that a fucking rat? Oh, it's cockroach. Oh, it's cockroach. Okay. Step on it. Or, or kick it. Fucking roaches, man. Haven't had a problem with roaches at this new place yet. I'm very, very happy about that. The last place had a couple. A couple of fucking sewer roaches crawling out from underneath the toilet. I don't know how that even happens. It's like a small, tiny little, little gap in between the toilet and the floor. I saw a cockroach run out from there once. Yeah, real nice place you got here. There's also scorpions in the fucking walls. But, uh, at this new place, I got none of that. No problems. No f no fucking scorpion walls. No roaches coming out of little hidey holes. Nothing. It's just nice. Probably because I'm on the second and third floor. Uh... That was the boss. Congrats, you killed the boss. Oh, rad roaches were the boss? It's locked. Wait, really? Oh, we've got to use the rubber ball because it says something about luring out the beast. The beast is probably a dog, so we lure him out with a little ball. No, we don't. I was wrong. Don't turn the fucking flashlight on. Can I look at this magic circle again? No, nothing. What's the point of that magic circle? Are we trying to... We trying to bring our mom back to life or something, you know what I mean? Stupid, stupid joke, insert here. Tower door is locked. What if I throw a ball at it? Will that fucking get Alphonse's body back? Can't use it here. Now that's concerning, simply because, uh... Wait. Yeah, so I can't go back and read the fucking hint thing that I thought told me what... Mm. Mmm. The opposite side, maybe. No. Okay. So I've got a rubber ball. And that's the only thing that's changed. Let me, let me look again. Yeah, I've gone... Oh, I can go out into the hall there. Oh, I see. I missed... I just missed a... Oh, there's... Does that drain anything? No? Yeah, I just missed a door in the, uh, Rad Roach room. Ah, come on. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is great. It is pretty fucking good, actually. Full Metal Alchemist was not bad. I think Full Metal Alchemist, now that- now that Brotherhood is, has come out, it kinda, like, gets a- a bad rap for just not- you know, like- like, it's just... I don't know. It gets a bad rap now, because now Brotherhood exists, and that's like the definitive version of it. And that's like true, but I think Full Metal Alchemist is still like worth watching. I, I don't know. I don't know if I would recommend watching it instead of Brotherhood, especially if you're only going to watch one of them. But like, it's good. You know, it, it was worth watching, especially when it fucking came out. A uh, picture card? I'll take it. The Three of Keys or something. And, and, you know, the fucking Nazi shit, uh, was neat. You know, what were they gonna do? They had to make shit up. 
They made up some Nazi storyline that the ending made enough sense. You know, it followed the fucking rules in an interesting way. Okay, fuck off. I'm out, buddy. Get me out. Oh, let me leave. Oh, he f actually fucking stabbed me. But yeah, I mean, obviously Brotherhood is just better. But, I don't know. Ah! Uh, just let me go! Okay. I can't even see him. Uh, whoa, let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go, let me just go. Fuck, man. Three of them is like the limit. You know what I mean? Like, like if there's two, it's easy. Once it gets to three, it gets a little... I didn't want to fucking shoot him. Why would I want to shoot him? Okay, uh, step on him. Okay, alright. Waste a lot of bullets and a good bit of health. But we've... Oh, we've only got... We've got 25 bullets left. All right, we're we're getting we're gonna fi figure out fucking melee combat now. I'm telling you that. Yep. Uh, all right. I'm a little scared of having to use <laughs> melee combat, but we'll be fine. Oh, this is blocked off. Oh. Huh. Aren't we just back? Oh, now we're on the other side. Okay, I wonder if the infirmary still has a, a safe. Get the fuck out of here. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Melee combat is pretty dangerous. Oh, wow. Oh, it's really fucking dangerous. Wow, okay, melee combat sucks. You've been wasting a lot of bullets, just uh, quit fighting and run more. Try running like a pussy-ass bitch more. Okay. That makes sense. That's what I was doing originally, but I, I don't know, like, part of it seems like... When you're in a new environment, you should, like, slowly clear it room by room, you know? Like a fucking SWAT team or something, like... Like, tactical... You know what I'm saying? You feel me? But, like, okay, that's a mistake. Run like a little bitch. Gotcha. I will, uh, I'll do that. Yeah, like, fuck these guys. Okay, well, he caught me. But still, fuck him. Let's just leave. Save our ammo. There's no one in here. We can grab the bounty ball. I know where to go this time now, also. So, like, I won't waste a bunch of time running around and killing guys. Don't... Okay, alright, okay. I just gotta get better at running running away with using, like, tank controls. Because that's the thing. Running away, that's easy. You know what I mean? Running away with tank controls is when it gets a little iffy. Um, oh, we need that card. Right, so we do actually need to go in these classrooms. There we go. Or at least I assume we need this card. I guess it could just be worthless, but... Does Harry look like a SWAT team? Well, he's got the fucking, uh... What do you call it? Like, the, he's got the nerves of one. Where he just, like, doesn't care. But, uh, other, otherwise, no. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Enemies respawn, so there's no point in clearing rooms. Yeah, that makes sense. Violence is never the answer, what did I tell you? I'm still waiting for my answer to my question, which is, if, if violence is never the answer, what if the question is, what should you never do? What's never the answer? I still haven't gotten a question to that one. Let's go, let's just run to the infirmary, hope that it has the save thing in it still. It does. Sweet, okay. Now we're safe. Nice. Isn't it weird? It's just like a little thing. But, like, can you imagine if when you were a kid and you were playing on your fucking, like, uh, even like a GameCube or something, where you gotta put in, or like a PS2 or a PS1, where you gotta put in the memory card 
PS1 being the most apt, considering what game we're playing. Could you imagine you're playing a PS1 when you're a kid, and somebody told you, like, someday in the future, you will have unlimited save spaces. You can- you don't even need to fucking worry. A memory card? You'll just fucking run this shit on your computer and have unlimited saves. I wouldn't have fucking believed you. I'd be like, you're out of your fucking mind. I would have said that too, you know, like, you know, as a little kid, I would have said, fuck off. You're wrong. I'm gonna go play fucking Mario Kart or something. I'm gonna use my one save. But it's like, no, you can... Many as you want. I'm using two slots. I don't have a single memory card. If it is, there's no keyhole or even a knob. If I push it, it moves a bit, but it certainly won't open. What's this? In the center of the door is a horizontal slot. What's it for? Okay, I know the answer to this, but I'm curious about this. This is the door that was in the painting. Is this in the same location as that painting was? Yeah, I think it is. Okay, that's interesting. I don't know if that means anything, but it's interesting. Obviously, though, you see there's three squares. That card had three squares in it, so obviously we just, yeah. And it's in the picture of a key. It's a key card, so we put it in the door. Unlimited saves, like a super big memory card. I mean, in a way, that's kind of what it is. It's not technically unlimited, you know? I've got fucking two terabytes, that's... <laughs> I could theoretically save this game enough times that I run out of space. But that wouldn't happen. You know, like, that just, that just would not happen. Now, let's check out the bathrooms. Probably there's nothing in here except an enemy or some shit, but... Ooh, that took a while. Not a lot of privacies in these bathrooms, uh, just kind of fucking letting you peek in, isn't it? Oh, see, that's interesting. In this room, the camera is fixed. I cannot, I cannot press L and look somewhere else. This one room, and probably a couple others, plays just like Resident Evil, as far as I know. I haven't played a lot of Resident Evil. But, uh, to where, like, you can't reconfigure it. The, the camera is just locked. Sweet. Yes. Ooh, Shotgun shells! You're telling me I'm gonna get a fucking shotgun in this game? It's not even gonna be scary anymore. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I press the wrong button again. Wait, really? Huh? Wait, what? How did I... what? Where am I? <laughs> what? Did I fucking switch floors by going through these bathrooms? Wait a minute. Excuse me? I mean, yeah, this is clearly just a regular bathroom, but... I switched floors. By using the bathroom. Okay. What about if I go through this one? This is a different bathroom. I have not been in here. Oh, there's a shotgun! Oh, sweet. Oh, there's a kid taking a shit. Nope. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just going to take your shotgun. Uh, hey, hanging body, why would somebody... Why would... A hanging body, why? What do we got on shotgun ammo? Six with six more, okay. Alright, okay. Let's keep the... Oh, wait, the pistol is equipped. Let's keep that equipped for now. I'm not going to go melee. I'm just going to run for most stuff. And if we don't need to run, then we'll shoot him. Huh? What's that? Yeah. His reaction to everything. Like, what? Why? Like, it's always a question. 
and like just like an innocent question like what why would someone hang somebody okay should i just be skipping this should i just be like ignoring these fuck off come on get out of here fucking all these little kids want to eat my ass Uh, you would think these bloodier lockers have, like, something special in them, but no. Let me guess, there's nothing in here, and that was a waste of ammo. And health. Just run. Yeah. Yeah. You only have so many bullets. I- I mean, okay, I guess my reaction is to just kill them, because I assume there's gonna be something in the room, and something that would be very hard to get, and I would u lose a lot of health by trying to get it with them still around. But that is- that was just not the case. I should not keep making that assumption and making an ass out of both of us.